on today's episode of The Game Chasers. I turned around and caught you in the act. Sorry. No, that's the dumbest thing. The the For it to be sitting here in front of me randomly as I walk into this place is insane to me. You're because you're the cutest? Is that what you're saying? Okay, first of all, no, he's not. Hey, can I get to kill this cow master? You guys have had this weird obsession with me for some reason. I'm getting old. All wet, Robbie. What is all wet? Because he's an exaggerating motherfucker. Like right there where my hair is, because my hair is wet, because I showered. Ah! So we decided to change things up and actually get up early in order to find some decent games. It's not the first time we've tried this. Maybe like the second or third. So today we are going to uh, mainly be going to estate sales. So last night I looked up where some estate sales might be taking place today, and some of them looked like they might have some really cool stuff. <laughs> so wait, let me get this right. I'm getting ridiculed because I showered this morning. Did you just touch me? I Why wanna, would you do that? I did you just run your fingers you through my hair? No, Why I didn't run your... I right? squeezed it. I didn't run my fingers through it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how oh. being clean around here gets you made fun of. Speaking of which, Billy, don't you ever include me in a text that's, that says rise and shine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> ever. Everybody has already started off on the wrong foot this morning because I sent out a group text saying rise and shine. I was enraged by getting a text from Billy that said rise and shine. Coming from you, it read like rise and shine. <laughs> Well, exactly how you that's meant what it. I, that's how I wrote it. I mean, <laughs> think like the old man in um, Family Guy, the way he talks. No 40 plus year old dude should be saying rise and shine to other 40 plus year old dudes, okay? And when I saw it, I actually just giggled. I giggled because I knew that somebody, didn't know who, was either gonna be Melvor or Rob, somebody was gonna say something about it. Like steam was coming from my head, dude. It just enraged me because it was completely uncalled for. I was already rose and shining actually i stayed up late watching youtube watching alien videos <laughs> i don't want to hear it from you because you're always the one hey we need to get up earlier we need to get up earlier well here we go here we go who's complaining about so me? you need to rise and shine <laughs> <laughs> got here at a pretty good time in my opinion early for us you know i think this thing started like 10 minutes ago but this place is packed with cars which is not a good sign if you find an estate sale that's advertised and there's something there you want you have to probably get there an hour early literally line up and wait in line for the doors to open us being four to six minutes late actually means that we are an hour and four to an hour and six minutes late so as soon as we come in everybody just kind of disperses and I kind of go one way and then I look over and I see that there is a table with vintage toys sitting right there. What is really unfortunate is the pics that I saw last night had GoBots in them, on-card GoBots. So someone's already gotten the GoBot. The holding area though has these on-card GoBots. So somebody was already there, snatched them up and said, here, hold these please. I'm like a couple of minutes late to get these GoBots. I I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed. That's the way the cookie crumbles. None of this Star Wars stuff is is anything that I'm excited about. $40 for this. I'm looking at this vintage Millennium Falcon and thinking to myself, it's only $40. To me, that seems low for an estate sale. New from Kenner's Star Wars collection, the Millennium Falcon that you put together. Batteries not included. Nice landing, Han Solo. Uh-oh, come on, Chewbacca. Stormtroopers are coming. Action figures each sold separately. Got them on radar. I'll fire the laser cannon. There's even a... Millennium Falcon is overrated. I'm sorry, I said it. I already have a Millennium Falcon, but it is missing some pieces. This Millennium Falcon has some of the pieces that I need. So I'm thinking about picking this thing up just for that. I'm being ornery right now. I'm just being honest. 
Like Timothy says, real recognize real. <laughs> So I'm walking around and I look to the left and I see something that I have been looking for forever. And I haven't seen this toy in person since I was like two or three or four years old. And I thought, was this the one you were talking about? This is, this is the one, this is the toy I used to have. It's like this flying saucer thing from early, early 80s. And I had this thing as a kid and for the longest time, I never knew what it was called. It's just a little ship, a um, little spaceship that has, uh, and it's these, <clears throat> I don't know what they're called, like little people or something. Somewhere beyond the stars, there is a world of pretend adventures just waiting for you with Playmobil people and their action vehicles. Moon Station Transport, do you read? Space Transport request permission to land. Permission granted. Watch out for asteroids. Roger. It's one of those childhood memories that had to have just been like, a smack in the face as you know as far as seeing it in reality right in front of him again and I do recall a year or two ago a Billy um, making a post on Instagram or, or Facebook or something trying to describe this spaceship that he had as a kid I just had some very vague memories of the actual UFO and so I never knew how to find this thing. And I had half of mind to ask him, hey, this isn't what you were talking about, was it? Because he he's, he's, he has Homer Simpson memory. For it to be sitting here in front of me randomly as I walk into this place is insane to me. But it does cross my mind, hey, I'm wondering if this is what Billy was talking about, but not enough to actually go and ask him. So I wander off and I'm, I'm looking at um, some vintage magazines. I don't really buy games, I'm not a game chaser. So if there are any games here, I'm not even looking for them at this point. <gasps> um, one thing I do find though, that I can't believe is, is sitting here, they have some old like um, Saturday Evening Post magazines uh, from the 60s and they have a UFO magazine here from like 67 and they want like two bucks for it, which is, pretty crazy. I snatched this thing up because there's people already looking around like, oh, what's going on over here? Just a bunch of nosy swine, honestly. Nosy so I, swine. I take them That's like, they're there. <laughs> they, were they, were, they were crowding me, man. It was like, oh, precious. 67 or so. Oh yeah, yeah. You but two bucks, so you can't beat that. UFO magazine from 1967 that had some pretty, uh, some pretty good information in it. And it's called Flying Saucers. Actually, I said, yeah, two, two bucks, yeah. Smeet. You know, the only thing that I would have bought here would have been this, uh, this Shaquille O'Neal standee thing. That was really cool, but not $900 cool. This is definitely something I didn't think I'd ever run into. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's what I love about going to places like this is the randomness of what you're going to find. There might be a couple of things that I had as a kid that, that I have vague memories of that I can't figure out what they are. And he's actually able to find one of those. It makes getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning worth it. I'm not hairy at all. On a game of one-on-one, -on -one, first to 100, do you think you could score Two points. Against Shaq? Yes. Or any any NBA player? We'll go Shaq. Yeah. I don't think so. To a hundred? No, I, I mean I couldn't drive the lane on him. I'd have to I'd have to shoot, you know, from, from the perimeter, but you'd, yeah. you'd, you'd have to I can arc you have to arc it up so high. I can make two. I can make two. Alright, so time for the next estate sale on the list. Hopefully we'll get lucky here too. I go to estate sales semi-often. It's better than garage sales. You get to search the entire house instead of just really what people want to put on a table in the front yard. So I've been pretty semi-successful over the years with estate sales. Whoa. I see some model kits and I love model kits. And they have the Blue Thunder one, the Blue Thunder model kit. I was obsessed with Airwolf and Blue Thunder. Those, those models, um, I think I, I ended up getting like a couple times. I might have to get this. So at only $4, uh, uh, it's a no-brainer for me to pick this model kit up because, you know, look, Blue Thunder is, is cool. It's not as cool as Airwolf. 
Perfect. Pricing at estate sales can be all over the place, honestly. It depends on the company that's running the estate sale. Although I think the pterodactyls are coming from the inner earth. I haven't been to too many estate sales, but whenever we go, I always feel kind of like an intruder, you know, almost like I shouldn't be there. And I don't, I, you know, it doesn't really make any sense, but but there is always an uneasiness for me going into place and rummaging through somebody's belongings. At first, it was kind of weird, but I've done it so much, I don't care. Any scorpions? Yeah. Twisted sister? <laughs> I find a complete newspaper from the 1940s. I appreciate history. Why wouldn't I get a newspaper from the 1940s? I'm getting old. I'm buying, I'm buying that model out okay. of there, so I'll <clears throat> combo it. Excuse me, do we get the cute discount? I'm standing out in the hallway, and I hear Billy ask one of the employees if he gets a cute discount. You're because you're the cutest? Is that what you're saying? Okay, first of all, okay. he's not. I was just gonna say, he's not, I though. mean like, who, who, so who decides that? If anyone's getting it, it ain't gonna be you. It ain't gonna be you either? I wasn't trying to get the cute discount though. It damn sure ain't gonna be you. So, well, sorry, but you're in luck. The cutest people also get 25% off tomorrow after afternoon. Hmm. I don't know if I can wait that long. Oh well, so sorry. Uh, it's worth a shot. It is. It's always worth asking. And of course, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because she didn't want to make Melvor feel offended and worthless like he is. Four and three. Seven dollars. This is the motley screw. I'm sorry. None, none of us are getting a cute discount. Like, Art Bell would get a cute discount before we would. She just said no because she was being nice. Now, here's our discount information over here, and it gets juicier as time goes by. Well, I asked her about the cute discount, and I didn't. She didn't say that there was one. But <laughs> what? What? The cute. The dis cute discount. Because you're cute. Yes. Oh well. Right. If it was up to me, it would be a no. It, no. If it was up to me, all three of you would get a discount. Oh. Yeah. She's in an awkward position. She didn't she say the wanna... cute discount, though. Well, at my age, everybody younger than me is cute. Really, everybody gets cuter as I get older. I think it'd be the pity discount. Cute discount. This is Billy. Can I, can I get the cute discount? No, I'm sorry, you're not cute. You'll be dead! <laughs> if Muffer was asking for the cute discount, he'd be all, <laughs> can I get... <laughs> That time you uh, slept with an NSYNC CD under your pillow? <laughs> no, I don't actually. You remember, you got caught, you got all embarrassed. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it was a gift for someone. Hey, a better question is why were we rummaging through? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're looking under your pillow. <laughs> exactly. You guys, you guys are like. Probably because like, we knew what we were gonna we were gonna find something. No, you got you know you you feel me in the shower, you feel me while I'm sleeping. <laughs> You guys rummage through my underwear. Okay, you make my it sound, dirty clothes. You make it sound like perverted. It, you guys are. You guys want to talk about freaking habitual things? You guys have this weird obsession with me for some reason. So I'm super excited with this next to say sell because they had a picture of some old school McDonald's toys. No, from our era, the good ones, like the transforming burgers and the fries and uh, all that stuff. I'm not afraid to go into some potentially deceased person's place in an estate sale and buy some other stuff and bring it home and, and it ends up being haunted. I'm not concerned about a haunted Genesis or haunted GoBots or haunted you know, antiques, and I'm, I'm not concerned about that. I'm not a simple-minded fool the way Billy and Jay are. They would be afraid of something like that. Although I think the pterodactyls are coming from the inner earth. You know, I've never considered the possibility that if I buy something at an estate sale or garage sale or flea market that it might be haunted. It's one of those deals where it has to show me that it's haunted. I'm not gonna assume that it's going to be. E I'm a private person and I would be very uncomfortable if I had an estate sale people going through my stuff. First of all, if he dies before me, I'm not buying anything in his estate sale. So I'm gonna come get what I want. At that point, he has the right to haunt it, I guess. It would be kind of funny though to like, you know, somebody buys my old Omega Supreme 
and like I possess the thing and they have it up on the shelf and like I turn on and start walking and stuff and I'm all banging on the glass display case. I am Omega Supreme, let me out. And they're like, Gah! <laughs> All the awesome Transformers McDonald's toys from the 80s, they're gone. We're left with a bunch of nonsense that nobody would ever want. It was advertised. People collect these things. So somebody probably already snatched that up, especially considering we went to the first one that we went to and then came to this other one. <laughs> Did you fart? What are you giggling about? Did you fart? It's just it's so it's just like every time I, it's like every time you roll up the windows, the fuck just quadruples. It's like it's uncanny, man. So fortunately, one of our favorite stores called Retro Madness, the main store, is only like five minutes away. We would be fools not to go hit them up. I like Retro Madness. It's one of the uh, better stores around here. The owner's cool. So I like it. It's a good. I might have to. Computer said I'm not. Like, this is Atari ST. No, it's not. That's unfortunate. I do like the DS. I think there was some great games on that thing. I see this Star Wars game called Jedi Alliance. 299? I don't know anything about this game. This game could suck for all I know. But it's a Star Wars game. It's three bucks. I'm gonna take a chance on it. Who knows? It might actually be something fun. Like a damn bear. <laughs> so you wouldn't know about the artwork because this is some of the most horrid artwork you'll ever see on a video game. No kid probably ever rented this, but this is actually a really decent beat em up on the Super Nintendo, and it's honestly as good as Final Fight, in my opinion. Not as good, but it's up there. I definitely want to walk out here with at least a game, and so I'm looking at the Super Nintendo games to see, you know, are there any here that I don't have, and I actually find one. E Force. Now, I don't know much about this game at all, but I'm pretty sure it's a shooter, uh, a shoot em up, if you will. Somebody has got to buy a video game on this godforsaken show, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> so it can't, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be some crappy DS game. Somebody's got to get a good game. I hope this is good. I, I don't remember it too much, but that's ten dollars. It's worth taking a chance. It's a shooter. Yes, the Super Nintendo was lacking in shooters, unlike the Genesis, who had blast processing shooters up the butt. So if I find one for ten dollars, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. Why not? I look over at some of the newer Transformers and they have Dead End and I need Dead End. Dead End is one of the Stunticons. Uh, the five of them merged to form Minasaur. This is the only one that I need and I, I've been looking for him for like two years now and haven't been able to find him in stores, forget about it. And I haven't been wanting to spend double the price on eBay, but I see him right here, 20 bucks. I can't grab this thing fast enough. It's the last one I need to get to make Minnesota. So I'm excited to see this this dead end. And the funny thing is, this is the last Stunticon that I need. And I'm not been able to find one. There's something really fun about these combiners. Even now. Oh, wow, look at me. I get transformers. I'm Melvar. I'm getting you back for just your mouth today. Your mouth today has been Terrible. So you know my kryptonite is singing hip hop worse than the original? <laughs> yeah. Am I in the best mood right now? No, I'm not. Do I care? No, I don't. Yeah, is it worth it? Let me work it. Let me flip it in reverse and reverse it. Yip a dip a dip a dip a doop. Yip a dip a dip a dip a doop. Screw up a dip a dip a dip a dip My goal is to make him snap. You either play ball or they 
one way or another destroy you. I'm not sure how much I want to spend right now at this store because I did spend a whole whopping eight, eighty dollars today. So the ends of the earth are this way. Thank you. Uh, we don't even have a dough license. I almost broke something. So, you know, I found a few things that I wanted uh, at Retro Madness. So I wasn't planning on spending a whole lot of money and I didn't spend a whole lot of money. So I'm happy with my finds for the day. 49.80. My goodness. How'd you spend that much? Credit card. <laughs> Credit card. It's the way of the collector. Your tax is gonna be 1083. Is it worth it? Let me work it. It's always fun to go out. Uh, it'd be kind of foolish to expect, oh, we're gonna find some great things, you know, in, in this day and age. But we found some fun stuff. We found some cool stuff. We found some stuff we'd been looking for for a while. I actually feel like today was a success because I got something that I could check off my list. UFO designed for a four-year-old. I mean, I found a toy that I didn't even know what it was called, so I couldn't look it up and try to find it. And uh, been on that before. I guess it depends on your perspective, but for the, the day was a bust for me. I didn't get anything. Why would they? It's not like we're filming, a, you know, a show where you you buy a lot of stuff. They do this crap all the time. Billy's the worst. Actually, no, Jay's the worst. Dude, 80% of the time, Jay doesn't buy anything. I don't regret not getting anything because I didn't want anything that bad. I don't know. These guys, these guys are... They make me so angry sometimes. <laughs> Although I think the pterodactyls are coming from the inner earth. We are going to be hitting some flea markets and Redneck Chris is going to be joining us. He hadn't been out with us in a while. Travel out further than we usually go, maybe the Gun Barrel City area. We've always had great luck down there in the past. I've sold about 95% of my collection and uh, so it's going to be cool to get out and be able to find games and buy stuff that I genuinely don't have anymore. So hopefully we'll come across something good. Check out this old ass laptop. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. It's heavy too. That's pretty crazy. I play my PS2 a lot these days. I was asking, I was gonna say how much you were asking for the uh, PlayStation 2. Um, asking 50 each. 50 or each? 75 if you take all seven. Okay. Hey, you can never have too many PS2s, right? It's untested, five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. I'm going, I'm going J today. I'm gonna be like, I want 50. Oh, I got five. But got do five. you have actually five dollars in your pocket? Yes, I do. But so you have a five spot? I have a six spot, but you're not getting it. Oh man, I, I went I'm, to the ATM. I'm actually the one without money here today. Yikes. It's a good. I love that movie. You don't love Princess Bride? It's okay. I don't love it. If you're looking them up, that's what most of them are going for online. Yeah. It's 15 to 10 to 15. I've never seen it, so that's why I was curious. Oh, it's, just, it's a strategy. That sucks. The one you're it, has up a very, it has a very odd like label to it. Well, they put the instructions on the label. That's probably not something I'm going to play. I just was like, I'd never seen it. Uh, what are you asking on the uh, transformer? That is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 25. 25? Yeah. Okay. So as we go from booth to booth and find nothing and nothing and nothing, and this place apparently has become dry as a bone. That's not how we want to start off the day, but hey, we got plenty of places that we can go to, so let's not dick around. Let's go find some games. The next flea market we're going to, you guys might recognize as the one where Billy traded his Atari shirt and had to put on that two small sons of anarchy shirt. 
Also the same flea market that Dodongo got called out for drinking at nine o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Get out of there! <laughs> Put that up! I wasn't doing anything! Yeah, right! So Don is not here. Apparently he's not there all the time and he was really the only person that had anything that we might buy. So right now, literally there's nothing here for us. A literal pile of nothing. So there is a huge flea market on the way back and we were saving this for last because, I don't know, because. Now, as we're going through this flea market right now, through aisle and aisle and aisle, it's becoming very, very disconcerting. Every vendor's got some sort of mega wattage Bluetooth speaker just blasting to Hano as loud as that speaker system will go at every single booth. And I think one out of every four booths there, uh, they're selling food. Uh, I'm not knocking them. I mean, the food looked and smelled amazing. It's nothing but handcrafted stuff, stuff that fell off the truck, or food. Half this place is food. There's no games, literally zero. It's a lot of new stuff, toothpastes, and, and shampoos, and trash bags. Flea market this big, you're at least gonna have one, one asshole that goes around looking for all the video games and sets up a booth. But the fact that there's not even that here tells me that nobody found any sort of value in setting up a shop here. No games at all, period. Uh, very frustrating, very frustrating. Really from a time-wasting aspect more than anything else. So we're three quarters through this thing and we all kind of decide, hey, we, we don't really want to see the same vendor selling the same stuff for a hundredth time now. So let's just go. I I'm ready to get back to the car. I've got to walk like 18,000 miles through elbow to elbow people to get back to the car. I think this is the first for us, the first time we've ever actually left a flea market before even finishing it. We've been here for 30 minutes and about 80% done and it's like, no, there's nothing here. G clearly coming down here was a mistake. It was, it was new, it was toiletries and, and leather stuff and just dumb, it's dumb. You don't want to know what I have to say about this. So all the flea markets at this point are being closing down. There's a there's an antique store open. It's the last glimmer of hope. It's just a crapshoot at this point. I'm trying to salvage the day. Let's go into the let's go into the antique mall that's right here. Sure, because we all know what happens at antique malls. I've never seen a mannequin with a, that lifelike of a face. I, there's no way this thing does not come to life at night. So th there's nothing inherently wrong with this antique store so far. Uh, it's got some great antiques, I'm, I'm sure. But it doesn't have video games. Son of a bitch! Jay has gotten a few uh, vendors in front of us walking down this aisle. He's a few booths ahead of us. And so it's me and Billy walking side by side and I literally walk into a wall of sh We <laughs> both what are you doing? <laughs> We both smelt that. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Bro. Did you find it? No, don't, don't. You weren't even around me. What are you talking about? Wow, why are you it, it was so bad. It was such an oily, like, it just, it was, ugh. I didn't smell anything. I didn't Why am I getting blamed for something? Wait a minute. Liar. You're tearing up. <laughs> You're guilty. I did not fart. No, I got blamed for farting again. This is actually the second antique store that we've been out at that I got blamed for farting. Yeah, I'm wondering why I'm getting blamed for it. I wasn't even around y'all. It don't make sense. That, it was him. It was 100% him. Dude, I was like three booths in front of you guys. What are you talking no about? No freaking kidding. I'm always getting blamed for farting. I don't understand it. Why is it so funny to you? You can get blamed. I'm just gonna do it. You can tell that he did it because of the way he's happy. We tell. We all just turned around. All three of us like looking at him. We're no, I turned, happy. I turned around and you were stopped like you were trying to squeeze one out. <laughs> don't look at me. That's why I said, "What are y'all doing?" And you, for some reason, had the phone on his ass. 
You blame me. Look at you. Look at you. Wait, was that you? You're tearing up. Because the way you're, the way you're talking right now. Hang on. I turn. I turn around, and, and Chris is like this. And you're doing that. He's like this, they're getting down a little bit. I go, what are y'all doing? It hit me in the face so hard. Yeah, I was, I was, I was freaking locked up. It freaking it temporarily immobilized me. I'm telling you, bro, that, that fart was so bad. It was oily. Your fart was, it was so cute. cute. It was cute. I wasn't even near y'all. Me, me, and him, me and him are walking down, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's just like a wall. <laughs> and you're in front, and you're in front. I turned around and you were trying to squeeze one out. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not asking too much to go out in public and, and not get into a, an argument, a loud argument, mind you, about a fart. For some reason, we can't seem to do that. Walked into it. <laughs> Our brains both registered what was going on at the same time. And we looked at each other. We stopped. And then when we looked at each other, we looked back at you. Because I literally quit walking like in place. Because I was like, yeah. Like, it was you. I stopped because I smelled it and I didn't want to go any further. If we're walking this way. If we're walking this way. This is Who was that? This is which one y'all did that? Just me. That one was just me. No, just now. No. Y'all didn't hear that? No. Oh, oh, shit. oh yeah. The, he, the phantom. He just. The, the phantom of the, the phantom oh, of the freaking antique mall strikes again. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. Was that really you? <laughs> no, I didn't do it. Thing. I wasn't even by y'all to do anything. No, you, were, you were in front of us. I wasn't even by y'all to do You fart and? here, you fart here, go this way. The fart's still there for us to <laughs> so, walk into. So wait a minute, you're telling me all the motherfucking people that are in this place, it had to have been me, right? So, he's, he's literally trying to make you feel like you're crazy. Like coming up with all these scenarios, well, there's other people walking around. No. 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 You're telling, yes. you're, so you're telling me. I turned around and caught you in the ass. So no, that's the dumbest thing. So you're telling me three feet away. I shit my pants. Dude, and we're dude, walking this way and we walk into out. it, so I'm, it came out and went in front of us. That makes no sense. <laughs> it had to be conclusively Jay. And he starts coming up with the most cockamamie bull crap I've ever heard in my life. Oh, it wasn't me. Well, it was probably one of y'all. If, if it was one of all us, it, that fart would be 15 feet back there. Why would we just be walking to a, like, he literally said that. I'm like, what? Well, so I have a, a, a phantom fart that came out of my, my, my freaking butt cheeks and somehow made a right hand turn and got in front of us. That's totally plausible, totally plausible. He's a liar, he's a slob. No, he said she had to be getting mad. Just, <laughs> the magic fart theory. <laughs> One hundred percent, Jay is trying to gaslight us right now. He farted. That doesn't make sense. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Oh. <laughs> Hurts. <laughs> People are not only walking by hearing us, like we're we are having this this conversation. It's a it's an argument. As we are walking, so people that were walking by are hearing us bitch and complain about a mystery fart. I'm not saying it was revenge. Thank you for it twisting it like that. It wasn't revenge. I'm just saying, you literally did it five minutes ago. I laughed how I was stuck. But there's no possible way, I mean, no was, possible way it could have been you a second funny. time. That was pretty funny. Just go. Excuse me. <laughs> And we're getting so loud that I guarantee you they can hear us at the front counter complaining about this mystery fart. And all of a sudden we walk into a brick wall of, of shat. But yeah, no, everybody in that place could hear. But the thing is, is what Jay did, letting that dirty bomb go, is there's other people that were other customers and, and staff walking through that, having to smell what he did. <laughs> Wait, what was his voice? You just need to sing your time and take on you kind of sing like this. That's that's what I sound like. Yeah. I don't know. I think he just does it because he knows when he d won't claim it and we all know it's him, it makes us that much matter. All I'm saying is, wasn't me. That's all I'm saying. Where was Rob? 
But if y'all are gonna if y'all are gonna point fingers at me, I'm gonna fucking point them back. I didn't smell the evidence until later. God, it was bad. <laughs> I was I was ahead of you guys. I was in a booth looking at records. I was 30 feet ahead uh, of I you just, guys. So somebody just phantom <laughs> their pants. <laughs> it was in between me and you and Billy. <laughs> And we just don't know who. So there's what a fucking there's a ghost. ghost. There's a fucking ghost. Ghost in pants in the antique mall. Look, I, I can't. I can't see behind me, so I don't know what happened. Haunted farts. Look, sometimes this is just the way things go. You go out, you find gold. You go out, you find nothing. But sometimes you got to salvage the day with a good old-fashioned fart argument. I'm validated. I'm completely 100% validated. I knew I wasn't crazy, and my fart theory was correct. It came out of your ass. Because as soon as the camera stopped rolling, you said that you went ahead of me and Billy and did it in a booth so no one would be around it. And then when you walked back out to the middle, it followed you out there. And you said it out of earshot of Billy and Rob to make me even more mad about it. Because I can't, you know, they're not going to be able to corroborate my story. You, you have this, you have this, this trumped up story about me. Like, like, I'm just out to get you? Like, I'm out to make you look silly or, or crazy or something? 100%. Uh, okay. There 100%. It goes. There it goes. I'm out to get him. I, I'm, I'm terrified because, you know, <laughs> if you ever committed a, a crime and it went to trial, you're one of those people where you wouldn't know if you honestly did it or not. Like, <laughs> We're talking about a flying saucer magazine I got, and there's a picture of a, of a freaking potential pterosaur in the picture with the UFO. So it's... Timely. It's not like I'm just randomly spouting off stuff about UFOs and pterodactyls, okay? Based on the fact that Melvoort looks like half a Quasimodo, if you were to ask for the cute discount, it'd be like this. Hey, hey, hey can I get the cute discount, master? That's you. <laughs> <laughs>